If you want to create this type object that has a center axis and a outline, you can create with the simple creation of outline drawing. In this class, we create this outline and also learn some other important tools. So first I maximize this front viewport and start creating this line from this point. So first I choose line tool and start creating. Uh, first I click here and then create a horizontal line with the help of shift key. So press shift and then click. So a linear line or a straight line will be created. Uh, then I create a point here so I can create a roundness in this area by click and drag method. Now I click and hold on the scroll wheel and then move upside so I can pan this screen then click and drag. Sometimes by mistake you click on the right click. When you press right click or escape key line creation will break. If you want to continue this spline path create a next point nearby this last point and then you can continue. So first I zoom out little bit and then create a point in this area. Same as I click and drag so I can create a smoothness and then exit in the center of this object. Now I press right click so I can exit from the line creation mode. You can see line tool is still active so I press right click again and then select this select and move tool. Now you can see if I click on this line only this line is selected. If I click on this line when this plus icon appear so only this part of this line is selected. If you want to attach both line so first select only one line then right click attach tool available here by using this attach tool you can attach multiple spline and this tool also available in the modify section first you have to select segment subdivision mode and then collapse all the panels attach tool available in the geometry section you can see here if i click on the attach tool and then hover my mouse on the second line this type icon appear now i click here to attach after applying attach you have to exit from the attach tool so press right click and then also exit from the editing mode so click on the line now you can see you can select this line with the single click but this line is not weld yet if you want to weld these vertices first select vertex subdivision mode and then click on this point and then drag nearby this point now I click outside and create a window selection. First we have to fuse these points. So fuse tool available on the right click. Now I press right click and this tool available here. When I click on this tool you can see both vertices are now overlap. If I click on the yellow point and then move you can see they are still not weld. So first I press Ctrl Z and create a window selection again so both point will be selected then press right click and then click on the weld vertices first i click outside and then click on this point and move by click and drag so you can see these points are weld now now i press ctrl z after applying weld tool you have to exit from the editing mode so click on the line if you want to weld two vertices, first you have to use attach tool. After using attach tool, you have to select vertex subdivision mode and then select these vertices. Create a window selection and then select both vertices first and then apply fuse tool and then apply weld. So you have to remember these steps. If you want to create a different type shape in this area, so you have to add some point here. You can add point on this spline by using refine tool and this tool available on the right click. So I press right click and then click on the refine tool. When you hover your mouse on the spline or segment you can see this type icon appear. If you click here a point will add in this area. In the command panel you can see refine tool is active now. By pressing right click first you have to exit from the refine tool and then create a window selection or you can also select this point with the simple clicking method then click and drag outside. Now I select this point and select this Bezier handle and define a curvature like this. You can see curvature is not available for this point so right click and then choose Bezier corner. 
now you can see handles are available here with the same method you can also create other points like this if you create some extra point and then you want to delete them create a window selection and then press delete key so with the delete key you can delete that extra point when you delete any vertices connection will not break but if you select segment subdivision and then select a segment and then press delete key you can see connection is break now now i press ctrl z and then exit from the editing mode in the next class we create a 3d model with the help of this spline